Here we're going to use a solution of bubble mixture, but this one we've added brown sugar to. So we have two tablespoons of brown sugar, a, a tablespoon of fairy liquid, and water. And I've just used a normal bottle here, and we make it a half hour probably before you want to use it to give the, um, the mixture time to settle. And just using any straw, um, here I have a variety of straws, but it doesn't matter what size the straw is that you have. So what we're simply going to do is we're going to put some bubble mixture using our hand on the table. Be generous with the amount of bubble mixture you put on the table. It actually enough, it can't be too much. It can be too little. And we're looking for the little bubbles of mixture onto the actual table. We can pour it on, but then when the student, students see you pouring it onto the table, they themselves can make a few puddles, which can go wrong. So we're just going to take the straw. We aim for kind of the lumps of bubbles that are small bubbles that are there already. So I'm simply going to place the straw into one of the mixtures and it make a bubble. Having made the bubble, I simply remove the straw. The idea here is I'm going to try and put another bubble into the bubble. And the fun here is to allow, see and allow the students to see how many bubbles they can get inside a bubble and then how many bubbles they can put around the outside. For this experiment or for this investigation, we then look to the physics element. So here we can see that we have a reflection of light off the actual bubble. So we're bringing in the physics. How come that light and how come I can see the spectrum? So we're looking at the dispersion of light. So an opportunity to, for the students to actually revise their light um, while doing the experiment. So I'm just going to try to put another bubble inside the bubble. So I'm going to take a little bit of mixture onto the end of my straw. Uh, oh, <laughs> and here I go, I've popped the bubble. But an ideal opportunity, I see a ring here. So we're bringing in another physics element. Here, I'm going to say to the students, how could I measure the diameter of that bubble? And the students are thinking, mm, how could I do that without bursting? The idea is to actually burst the, burst the bubble and I have a rim of where that bubble was. So I simply then measure side to side. So I'm going to try and blow another bubble to show you um, density and how I can put more than one bubble together and the, I should see a collapse of one bubble into the other. Oh, <laughs> I was very successful. As we can see, it requires a lot of skill to blow the bubbles, but having the students and let them explore blowing the bubbles, they themselves will find it quite innovative in how they can blow the bubbles and how many the competition it brings, brings into the students and how many bubbles they can get together. So we're looking at what we can use this bubble mixture for. Yes, it is fun. We can bring in density, solutions and measurement. And then the element that the students can actually see the shapes once we put different bubbles together.